Buck 22, Mr. Bounce. It really is a pantomime. Mr. Bounce was very small and like a rubber ball. He just couldn't keep himself on the ground. He bounced all over the place. And as you can imagine, that made things rather difficult. Last week, for instance, Mr. Bounce was out walking when he came to a farm. He climbed over the farm gate. And you can guess what happened next, can't you? He jumped down from the gate and... Bounced straight into the duck pond. Bounce, went Mr. Bounce. Splash, went Mr. Bounce. Quack, went the ducks. The other morning, for instance, Mr. Bounce was in bed. He woke up and jumped out of bed. And you can guess what happened next, can't you? He bounced right over his bedroom door and all the way downstairs. Bounce, 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 bounce. That happens quite often, which probably explains why Mr. Bounce leaves his bedroom door open every night. After he picked himself up, Mr. Bounce went into his living room and sat down to think. Bounce! Mr. Bounce bounced off his chair and banged his head on the ceiling. Bang! went Mr. Bounce's head on the ceiling. Ouch! said Mr. Bounce. This is ridiculous! Mr. Bounce thought to himself, rubbing his head. I must do something to stop all this bouncing about! He fought and fought. I know, he thought. I'll go and see the doctor! So, after breakfast, Mr. Bounce set off to the nearest town to see the doctor. He was passing a tennis court when he tripped over a pebble. Bounce! He bounced. And he bounced right onto the court where two children were playing tennis. And you can guess what happened next, can't you? The children didn't realise that Mr. Bounce wasn't a tennis ball and started hitting him with their tennis rackets backwards and forwards over the net. Bounce! No! Bounce! Ow! Bounce! Ouch! Poor Mr. Bounce. Eventually, one of the children hit Mr. Bounce so hard, he bounced right out of the tennis court. Mr. Bounce bounced off down the road towards the town. Oh dear, he said, feeling very sorry for himself. I've been bounced black and blue. A bus was coming along the road, and Mr. Bounce decided that the safest place for him to be would be on it. He got on and sat down, still feeling more than a little sorry for himself. The bus drove into town. The bus stopped right outside the doctor's. Mr. Bounce stepped down from the bus. And you can guess what happened next, can't you? He didn't step down onto the platform outside the doctor's. Oh no, not Mr. Bounce. He stepped off the bus and onto the platform and bounced in through the doctor's window. Dr. Makeywell was sitting at his desk enjoying his mid-morning cup of coffee. Mr. Bounce sailed through the open window and landed. Pwah. You can guess where he landed, can't you? That's right. Splash! went the coffee. Ouch! squeaked Mr. Bounce. The coffee was rather hot. Good heavens, exclaimed Dr. Makeywell. After the doctor had fished Mr. Bounce out of his coffee and sat him on some blotting paper to dry out, he listened to what Mr. Bounce had to tell him. So you see, said Mr. Bounce finally, you must give me something to stop me bouncing about all over the place quite so much. Mmm, pondered the doctor. After some thought, Dr. Menkewell went to his medicine cabinet and took out a pair of tiny red boots. This should do the trick, he told Mr. Bounce. Heavy boots. That should stop the bouncing. Oh, thank you, Dr. Menkewell, said Mr. Bounce. And he walked home wearing his red boots. Not bounced walked. That night, Mr. Bounce went to bed wearing his heavy boots and then he went to sleep. The following morning, he woke up and yawned and stretched and bounced out of bed. And can you guess what happened next? No, he didn't bounce down the stairs. He went straight through the bedroom floorboards and finished up in the kitchen! <laughs>